How's it going, everybody? I am here with a, a little update to the game. So a few things, as I'm just going to wander around the map that you might notice. Um, you know, it looks... Oh, if you get hit by a car, you get this little message. It tells you all about the map. You know, if, if you get hit by a car, your health goes down and blah, blah, blah. But it only tells you one time. You get one warning, and then after that, you're kind of on your own. Um, so you walk through, we'll walk through and get a couple of things, you know, just like normal. There is more stuff to do in the game now. Um, you kind of, I'm, I'm going to show you some of the things you can do in the game. Uh, so let's go to the hospital and get healed. So I'm just going to pick up some stuff along the way. Packed up a bag of crack. Interesting. And then, okay, so let me, let me get hit by a car. Again. Jesus. You, you got to be careful, too. Uh, because if you, if, if the car is traveling, you know, in the way in which you're walking, it'll just keep hitting you over and over and over. And actually that's gotten me a couple of times. It's actually killed me. So, um, see, this car here does a bunch of damage. So, I'll, and then boom, game over, you know, obviously you need some kind of like, you know, bomb, 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 or something like that. But let's go ahead. Over. Um, all right. So let's get hit by a car again. If I can find a car, come on. Let me pick up a couple of things since I, I, I ended the game. Okay. There's the message again. I'm going to try it at some point in the future. You know, you'll have like a configuration file or something so that that message only appears the very first time you run the game. I don't think it needs to show every time you start the game. Uh, so let's see. That. Our health is getting low. I mean, obviously it's not that bad. But if you go up here and you go into the hospital and you go over here, Oh, okay, check in for your day spa, and here's, uh, you know, a little menu. Uh, you can get healed, or you can just, like, you know, not get healed. Uh, let's go ahead and get healed, and now you're you're more, you're poorer. Uh, but, you know, you've got your health back. Um, I did want to show, that's one thing, you know, just, you know, getting hit by the cars and uh, being able to get to the hospital. There is something else. There's a couple of show. I'm going to use a cheat to get my health back. Uh, where is the other thing I wanted to show? Ah, yes. Okay. What I want to show here is now there's a little guy here. Uh, and you can, I'll let you see who it is. And so here, what you can do is you can talk to him. And then he, you know, he tells you some stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. So the, the, this is like the beginnings of like a mission. And this actually isn't even really a... Uh, a, a mission in the sense that I had originally kind of planned on doing it. This is just a mission with what I've already built. So I was actually kind of pleased that, you know, I was able to do all this logic with what's already been built. So here you go. All right. So basically seven, if I try to talk to him again, he'll say, come back when you have some weed. Well, you know, you can look at your inventory and all you have is a bag of crack and some herb. And uh, seven's not interested in that. He wants, he wants actual weed. Well, I just happen to know where there is a bag of weed I can score. And that is right, sorry, I, it's right over here. I can grab my bag of weed and you can see I only have $15, but if I go back up to seven, where is he? There he is. And then uh, now he should be happy that I uh, have a bag of weed for him. And he says, hey man, thanks, here's another 20. And you notice my cash is 15, but now it's gonna go up to 35. So, you know, that's one way and actually the only way uh, to make money right now. And then the last thing that I want to show that if I've added to the game. If I come, where's my house? Where is Tommy Tudor's house? Here it is. If we go into the house, this was something I wanted to do early on, I had mentioned. Uh, you can use the computer. And um, so th these are your options. Let me make sure I don't have, I, I hope, hopefully I don't have anything, you know, risque in the, uh, in my browser. You know, that somebody can be like, oh, look at that website that's in your tabs. But let's go ahead, because if, what happens is if you choose one of these, then uh, it actually opens up a browser. And that, that's what it does. So I will leave it to, um, you know, to, to one day when there is a when there is a game installer for uh, you to figure out where these other options go. This should be obvious. And then there's two others. I, I, I will say everything is perfectly legal. There is nothing illegal going on in this game. It will take you nowhere illegal. So here we go, we exit out. Um, is there anything else that I wanted to show? I don't think that there is. 
Uh, I mean, other than, you know, what we've seen before where you have to go get the key to open up the treasure chest to get the magic of vagina. Um, you know, so I, I added the... Uh, I added, you know, this little this little guy, and I, I, I've kind of hacked how it's done. It's not done how exactly how I'd like, but you know, it works. Um, but you can get some weed. You can get rolling papers. I would I would like to actually make a very rudimentary uh, crafting system where if you know you've ha if you have rolling papers and you have weed, then you can roll joints and maybe roll and sell the joints for more than if you just sold the weed or something like that. Um, still just kind of working with that in my head about how that I don't want the UI to be too complicated because doing UI in the game is actually it, it's pretty difficult to like just do like these uh you know these little menus the, this it's not easy to do this in a in a uh it's, it's just not easy to do so I don't want to fool around with like okay select this select this and make this I don't I don't want it to be too you know too complex but anyway that's uh that's what's going on with the game. It's you know it's still being worked on. I, I know about the installer, so people can play it. It's getting there. I think Chairman Troll. I, I've talked to him a little bit. Charmin Troll, Chairman Troll, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I've talked to him a little bit, and um, so it does seem that like he's adding content to the game. <laughs> I know, I know, like he added a fire station and I, I didn't even realize that he'd added a fire station at, at one point until he was like, there's a problem with the fire station. I was like, oh, wow, there is because I, I you know, anyway, so he, he's actively adding content and I'm hoping because he's a programmer, I'm hoping that uh, with this little like scripting system that I've put into the game that like maybe he'll, add, you know, he'll be more creative than I have been with it thus far and add some cool stuff as well. So that's where we're at. Um, as far as when you'll be able to play it, maybe when it's something playable, it's just not playable right now. There's just, I mean, I've kind of done everything there is to do in the game. It will literally take you 15 minutes to go through everything in the game or maybe a half hour to kind of like, you know, go through what does this building do? What does this building do? And I guarantee you, you'll get bored before you find everything we've put into the game thus far. So I don't know. I want to make it a little bit better before I actually uh, release it to people. So we'll see, but that's it, and uh, hope everybody's well, and I'll talk to you next time.